Hello, we are Tavon and David from TD Adventures. In today's video, we are going to show you what to do if a generator isn't charging your batteries. How did we know that the generator was not charging the batteries? This is where you check. After starting the generator, you should see the generator icon here, and this number here should go up to show that it is charging the battery. Instead, we saw no generator icon and the number stayed negative. This happened after we got an oil change done on our generator at a Ford dealer. We thought we tripped the generator breaker, so we went to reset it here. I went in there and I pushed the red button mm -hmm. on each to reset it. There's one here. I popped it out and then I closed it. Mm -hmm. I went over to this one. I pushed the red button, popped it out and uh, closed it. It didn't make a difference. They were not, they, neither of them were tripped, but I popped them out and put them back in case they were, but I couldn't tell, you know what I mean? So off and on, didn't, didn't help. Still not feeding uh, the batteries when I fired up the generator. So we uh, called the main pleasure way number they put me through to customer support. I described on tour 20, 21.5. First he had me go up to the, uh, the inverter screen up here and then confirm that no power was going to it from the generator by the fact that it would not light up when the generator is running. After a minute or two, that panel just lights up and it wasn't doing that. And the microwave was off, the inverter was off, generator was running microwave never lit up. So that's how he knew it, we had to go to the generator and take a look. There's a circuit breaker right on the generator. So let's go take a look. Okay, here is the generator underneath and I need to take the cover off. Twist this up, pull forward, up a little more, there we go. Yeah. Okay, now, in here there is a power switch at the very top, and below there is a circuit breaker. And when I came out here, the circuit breaker was like that. So I came out, circuit breaker was leaning towards that direction. This apparently is an on-off switch. Leaning towards that direction, I reached up and I flicked it back to this direction. And that apparently took care of it. Now we gotta put the cover back on and see if I can do it while holding the camera. This lines up like that and then twist it back down. There we go. All right, cover's on. It's running. This is powered off as we just reviewed. Microwave just came online and this lit up. That tells us that the generator is charging the system. And if we wait, it'll start coming up and showing us the, the picture. There you go. From the, generator and powering inside and the light is green which is the first thing he asked me how often should you change your rv generator oil that depends on the type of generator you have we have an onan qg 2800i, which runs on gasoline and is a quieter generator. When we called Onan, they asked for our generator serial number. We were told that for our generator, we need to change the oil every year or every 150 hours of runtime, whichever comes first. That's all for this video. Yes, 
what I do for art. <laughs> so now we gotta put now we gotta put the cover back on. And see if I can do it while holding the camera. It slides up and like that. I'm too old for this stuff. <laughs> okay? Okay. Alright. <laughs> We're good. Hello. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>